Our Barcelona walking tour is bringing us from the old Gothic quarter into La Ribera. This street separates the Gothic quarter from another historical quarter where we are now called La Ribera. La Ribera, Ribera in Spanish means by the waterside. This was a neighborhood that started to be populated outside the Roman walls in the 1200s, 13th century. Yes, there was no more space there to live, so merchants, seafaring people, the guilds of craftsmen come to live here next to the sea. The streets still carry nowadays the names of the guilds that, for example, had their workshops and homes there. Like this street is called Argentaria, Carrer de l'Argentaria. Argent means silver, that's in Catalan language. Yes, silver smiths street. So let's say the Gothic quarter was the political and religious center of the city, while here was a little bit more, let's say, poorer quarter, or more modest quarter, with merchants, seafaring people, artisans, okay? It's very nice. It's a quarter that in the last 20 years, it really has uh, experimented a rebirth. In the last 20 years have come here to live a lot of young people, but people between 25 and 35 years old, still single often, we marry later nowadays. They are young professionals, independent professionals, maybe designers, architects. Or... They want to live here, they buy their old apartments, refurbish them, they're completely new inside. The arrival of this social group made that the, the quarter started to be trendy, and they open wine bars, little restaurants, little shops of designers. They call it little Soho of Barcelona, no? like the one of New York. Let's walk on it, it's, it's very nice. Part of our series, Walking Through Barcelona with Sandra. This is our quarter where in the evenings a lot of people go out to have a glass of wine or some little bit, a little bite. Little tapas, exactly, eh? a lot of tapas places. Did you eat tapas already here? Yes. Huh? Yes? Yeah. This quarter where we are is built around this beautiful basilica called Santa Maria del Mar. And La Basilica de Santa Maria del Mar was built between uh, the years uh, 1329 and 1384. I really remark the time because it was built in only 55 years, which, although it may sound a lot, it's not very much because normally these big churches of such a size, that is like the cathedral of Barcelona, they took much longer, 150 years, 200 years. They were built slowly with donations of the faithful when there was not much more money because there was, a, you know, a plaque or a war and maybe they don't have money. They stop it, continue later, yes. And, but this one was relatively fast built because the quarter was very populated and needed soon a new church. And then everybody helped donating work or money. The rich merchants that live here donating money. The artisans of the wood or the stone or the painting, they will donate their work. The seafaring people used to work at the harbor loading and unloading ships. They helped transporting the, stones, uh, the, the stone blocks from the stone quarry. So they build it relatively fast. It's considered a Catalan pure Gothic church, which represents the Catalan churches, austere facades, big round-shaped rose windows, two bell towers, octagonal shape, finished flat. And inside you're gonna see very poorly decorated. Big, but poorly decorated. Only stone walls around. It's magnificent, it's really pretty. We're gonna have a quick look inside, okay? Let's go a moment inside. So what do you think? Do you like it? Beautiful. It's really pretty. I think it's very pretty because although it's very big, very impressive, no, the size, but it, it's also at the same time kind of modest right? because it's, it's poorly decorated, very modest. This was the quarter of the modest people, yes? And here normally the nobles or members of the court kings wouldn't come, or members of the church wouldn't come. It's just for the seafaring, for these traders, for these artisans. In Europe, in France, Germany, in England, they also have a lot of Gothic architecture. But normally the Gothic churches in the rest of Europe tend to have a central nave. Uh, the interior is divided into three naves, three galleries separated by columns. 
but the central gallery, gallery, the central nave, is much higher than the side ones. It's to reach heaven, right? But in the case of Catalonia, our churches were built with three naves having almost the same size. So not much higher the central one, giving an impression that is only one nave and like very big with enough space for everybody, like getting a bit closer to the earth. The main altar is very simple, that's at the end, it has a little pillar where on the top is the sculpture of the Virgin Mary carrying the baby, Jesus, because the name of the basilica is Santa Maria del Mar, eh? the church of the Lady of the Sea, eh? or the Virgin of the Sea. This is a, a, a church where a lot of couples in Barcelona like to get married. It's true that we are not that faithful anymore. In Spain it's calculated that only a 35% really of the, of the population practices the Catholicism. No? But still we are quite traditional. Also in the city of Barcelona, uh, the, the community is very cosmopolitan. It's one of the three largest ports in the Mediterranean Sea. It's a city that has been always used to see people coming and going from the north of Europe, uh, coming by sea. So it's also a very open mind society, the one from Barcelona, because we always had foreigners. And they brought us their influences, their religions, their habits. Yeah? And in the case of Barcelona nowadays, we have members of the Jewish community, we have Muslims, we have Hindus, we have uh, Buddhists, we have people who are not faithful at all. So it's very blended. In, in the city only live 1.7 million, but in the whole metropolitan area, 4 million. The city plus the suburbs. All right, let's go out.